Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide, Mohamed Niaz with you. In this video, we're going to see how to set up Exchange Modern Hybrid Topology. Scope of this video is uh, strictly limited to our topic, Exchange Modern Hybrid Topology Setup. If you want to learn from the beginning of how to set up Office 365 Hybrid Configuration, then you have to watch from the beginning of the playlist. Or if you just want to know how to set up modern hybrid topology, then you are in the right place. So in this video, we're going to cover what is exchange modern hybrid topology, how it different from the classic one, which is available since the beginning of Office 365 con hybrid configuration and how to set up hybrid configuration with modern topology. Modern hybrid topology is a solution for the challenges that uh, delay the migration due to the impact to production environment that comes with the classic traditional hybrid migration method. When you choose a classic method to configure hybrid configuration, uh, you need additional servers to the environment. You have to add firewall rules and you have to expose more areas of your exchange server to internet, you need external DNS entries, public certificate, and some other configurations also required. So Microsoft has created Microsoft Exchange Modern Hybrid Topology, which use the same technology of Azure Application Proxy. So by using this agent, you don't need the firewall requirement of inbound connectivity you just need an outbound connection only that is more secure than opening a port for inbound connectivity so using this agent you bypass the requirement that comes in the traditional uh, classic hybrid configuration related to the firewall dns entry and public certificate but one important point that you keep in mind is hybrid agent that we install is only used for mail boss migration and free or busy requests. So other capabilities like uh, mail flow, which are not included uh, in the functionality of this agent that you have to uh, choose the same method or that gonna work in the same way as traditional hybrid deployment. Look at the picture to have a better understanding on how hybrid modern topology works. So I have an exchange server with client access server installed then I'm going to install a hybrid agent for modern hybrid topology. So once I complete the installation on premises, going to register with the Office 365 using a custom URL. You can see the format here and this URL going to use it by the mail replication services to communicate uh, uh, to on premises and it make more secure because this URL is only accessible from exchange online. And one important point that I want to make clear is uh, it uses the same method as in the traditional classic hybrid configuration for mail flow between on-premises and exchange server. So this agent support only the free busy request and mailbox migration uh, between the cloud and on-premises. When you closely look at the picture, you can see hybrid agent makes an outbound HTTPS request to hybrid proxy services. So by this way, it makes uh, more secure. You don't need to open any ports uh, for inbound connectivity to your on-premises setup. Before you decide to choose modern hybrid topology, you need to understand about what are the issues with this modern hybrid topology. The first one is hybrid modern authentication is not supported with the hybrid agent message tracking and multi mailbox search do not go through the hybrid agent. So for this, you need uh, to use classic connectivity model. The first one uh, where the exchange web services and auto discovers are published on premises and uh, are externally available for the exchange online office 365. And the important point here is hybrid agent uh, register when i explained about uh, the architecture i explained to you hybrid agent registers a fully qualified domain name which is an internal fully qualified domain name of the client access server 
when you run hybrid configuration wizard in the hybrid proxy infrastructure. So if this client access server is offline, which means the free BC lookups uh, from your tenant to on-premises, mailbox migration to and from your tenant won't work. So if the selected client access server is uh, permanently offline, then you need to rerun the hybrid configuration wizard again to register a new client access server. Finally, hybrid agent supports a single migration endpoint with the service default limits. So multiple migration endpoints utilizing your custom endpoint URL is not supported. So let's take a look at the agent install location and requirements. You can install the agent on a standalone computer that is designed for agent server or you can install it in an exchange server 2010 or later with a client access or all installed. Anyway, you need a minimum Windows Server 2012 R2 with a .NET Framework 4.6.2 which is capable of establishing an outbound connection HTTPS to the internet. And if you use an agent server, then make sure that the agent server can connect uh, with a client access server or HTTPS. So look at the port and protocol requirements. Uh, you need to open outbound communication between the hybrid agent installed CIS client access server and uh, internet for 44380 and 5985 and 5986. Let's get started with the demo. Open your exchange admin center, then go to data migration, then click on exchange. So by this way, you can easily download your hybrid configuration wizard. There are other methods also to download a hybrid configuration wizard if you are using Exchange Server 2013 or 16 or later. Uh, you can download it from your local administrator console. Click on download application to download hybrid configuration wizard. Complete the installation of hybrid setup. Now the installation has completed. Let's begin with the hybrid configuration. Click next. It automatically detect the exchange server available in your on-premises environment. So this is the exchange server what I have in my environment. Then click next. So here you're gonna connect to your exchange online. So enter your global administrator account here. Then click next and enter your password. Once you're done with the credentials, click next. Now it gather all the configurations for your on-premises and exchange online. So now you have succeeded with the gathering configuration information. Click next. Here you have two choices. Let's go for a full hybrid configuration and you choose use exchange modern hybrid topology then click next it give you a brief description on uh, the differences between the classic and hybrid now you have two choices i have uh, agents installed already uh, in my domain controller but as for the demonstration i'm going to choose install an additional agent then click next now I have to enter the local credentials and this is going to be used for the migrations and all as an administrator account. 
click next now it's downloading the hybrid agent and it's gonna install hybrid agent on the same server this is my exchange server with all the roles together enter your global administrator account during the installation this is going to register with a, a custom url so that uh, entering this credential will help uh, azure to validate your tenant you can see it's registering the hybrid agent and validating hybrid agent for the usage so that has done so click next and move forward so here i have two options configure client access and mailbox server for secure mail transport or use an edge transport server i don't have an edge transport so i'm gonna configure it with the client access and mailbox server and the centralized mail transport is chosen very rarely uh, so you can choose the first option or the second one here choose an exchange server so that exchange online create a receive connector in on-premises exchange server for communication between online and uh, on-premises exchange server do the same for the send connector you choose one exchange server for send connector configuration and here you have to choose a SSL certificate for securing hybrid mail transport then click next enter fully qualified domain names so that output mail connector uh, root mail from EOP to your on premises through that then click next now it's time to update click update So now we're done with the hybrid configuration. Let's go back to admin center and let's try to migrate one user from on-premises to exchange online. For that, uh, choose your exchange online admin console. Then go to recipients then migration then click to create a new batch i'm going to choose the first one then click next Now choose the user you want to migrate. It is recommended uh, to test with some users uh, before you migrate the entire users. You can see a fully qualified domain name here. This is a custom URL that registered with uh, Azure and Exchange Online can only communicate with your on-premises through this URL. So click next. enter a batch name here then click next here i'm going to choose automatically initiate the migration and automatically complete the migration now the migration is progressing so that is all about hybrid configuration with modern topology in the coming videos you're going to see how auto discover url works in an Office 365 hybrid setup. Uh, most probably that will be the final video in this series. So thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe our YouTube channel.